Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front room. And uh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm going to climb down off my big ladder. And I need to do something easy because it's been a while and um, I have a new setup. I had to raise my, my turntable up off the table because it was too low. So I really am a lot more comfortable now. And I'm almost out of black paint, so I'm going to try and be judicious with what I've got. I want to create a swipe because that's what's fun for me and that's what's that's what's going to be easier for me right now. And I'm not going to I'm going to try. I was going to say I'm not going to worry about the edges, but I'll try not to worry about the edges. I do have edge catchers handy should I want one. I can fix them after you're gone and sometimes I do. Usually there's plenty of paint on them by that time. A turntable is a regular turntable, as in, it's just a Lazy Susan. And it works as well, if not better, than what I have outdoors. And if the weather ever stops being rude, I'll be back out there. Now, I'm not sure that I want to do this completely equidistantly. This is a good place for me to start. And I think that I'm just going to use whatever's going over from either side because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link that's under the link tree which is directly under the video. I want to say thank you guys who have been sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys watching longer which is the only thing as it turns out the really only and most important thing to get me better placement. It's the length of time that you decide to watch. Alright. I'm not too worried about that center because that's where I'm going to put my swipe colors. I have this time a damp piece of cotton hemmed piece of t-shirt. I'm just going to run that along there. So much for not worrying about the edges. You were expecting that. Anyway. I am going to wipe off my spatula so it's ready to go. Now I thought since I really like certain colors that I ought to use a bunch of them. Just just completely self-indulgent. Whoops. Always good to shake everything. I'll put anything any of those right where those colors are, where, where the canvas is showing, excuse me. This is a, that is an Art Minds that they no longer make, which was a, a mysterious teal. And um, I believe Ellen Burstyn from My Life in Spatters has developed some sort of alternative to it. And that might be very cool to, to know about. And she has a, a channel, and she also has made a video using it. is not coming out very quickly, but at least it's coming out. I guess that's that's the good part. It's coming out. And I think I have another bottle of gold around here somewhere, and it's actually open. Now if I want some more of that, you know what? I'm I was gonna use some more of the uh, the purple flash that's uh, color shifting from folk art, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this neon purple in there and bring in my Anita's white metallic because I like adding a few white accent areas now and again. I kind of just like what I've got. I could um, be pretty happy with that. Now I've got all kinds of ways I could swipe and I've got small pieces of plastic around here and larger ones. Just cut, cut pieces Lots of little pieces. Let's grab a small piece. Oh, I've got one with tails. <laughs> I've got little tiny pieces and I think I might indulge in one of those. I'm going to try the t-shirt first just because I can. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to let some of that roll around. It's not that dissimilar from when I use colors that I put into a uh, shovel 
or a dustpan. I'm loving that pattern. I'm probably going to whine a little bit when it becomes something else because I really do like it a lot. I don't know. Should I do anything to that? Yeah, I'm going to do something to it. Oh, wait, I almost forgot the enamel. All right, so I'm not sure what that enamel is. I must have been ready to mix some more, or maybe that's it. I think I'm missing my enamel. Well, in any case, I'm going to put some enamel, acrylic enamel in there at some point. Let's pretend that's it. All right, so I'm going to go I think I can get rid of that dog hair. I'm pretty sure I brought my tweezers out here. My dog hair. I might not mind this being really simple. I might want the painted side. Just fun. I might throw a skewer or a basting brush in there. I've been enjoying my basting brush time. When I do the basting brush, I often make circles. And since I made such an organic pattern, I'm not feeling like that's a bad idea at all right now. Just around and around. The, um, the wet fabric, wet cotton fabric is not really cooperating very well, but I'm kind of liking the, uh, the odd shapes that it's giving me. And I'm tempted to fold it in half. I see that. Come on, you're a bubble, right? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a minute. I'm looking for any places that might want some of the color I've got on my rag. And as much as I love those colors and the cells that are being created, I'm having a lot of fun just wielding my, my cloth. I really want to put chain in there. <laughs> it occurred to me right then, as I said, wielding. Well, I said I needed something fast, and this is fairly fast, so I'm going to tell you guys, really appreciate you, there's almost 89,000 of you, and anything I might want to do to this, this is the only part that's sort of, it's cool and I don't necessarily want to mess it up, but it sort of needs to go with everything else. Or does it? <laughs> I told her she'd be sorry if she did that. No. I'm all set. I like winding my my cotton cloth around in a circle. You can't really do that with the paper towels. And I'm loving my colors. I'm just waggling my rag. It's a rag waggle! <laughs> okay then. Now I really could do all kinds of stuff in there, but I think that's better left for another time and another one. I say that and somebody's going, yeah, we don't trust you. <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, you're funny. I'm going to put that rag in the bucket. I'm going to grab a skewer and I'm going to give myself permission to spiral out the center of some of these, especially that one right there with the lump in the center. Because I like spirals, what can I say? There is no denying it. Anybody who watches me regular knows that. So anywhere where there's any real heavy paint that looks like it needs to be integrated, I'm just going to put a spiral. 
and make sure that I have all of my edges covered. And as long as it's the flat end of the skewer, you're probably well off. So I'm going to tell you guys underneath the video, the clothing is from Teespring and they're covered in my designs. And uh, when you shop there, it helps me out and I really appreciate it. Same as for the Amazon link, it's no added cost to you. And it's under the link tree, under the video. It's the first blue link. If you open it, you'll get automatically get an Amazon link. Yes, I did. I just used that paint on my tile to paint my edge. Because I can, and it doesn't have to be black. But um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm happy with this. I really don't think a few more spirals are going to hurt my feelings. Some part of me wants to put more gold in there. Some part of me wants to put more everything in there. But it's not working. It wasn't coming out smoothly. Sometimes you just have to try something new. Now I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures. That way I don't feel like I'm taking a chance if I'm leaving my paint heavy. And I don't know exactly what I'm doing here, except for giving myself permission to play. With a few more things. I'm not sure how much time I have left, but doing something a little differently is right up my alley. I like to like to change things up a little bit, pretty often, whenever I think of it. And it's just another party. Seems like my timer should have gone off. I don't even know what I did with my timer. Oh, cool, I got three minutes left. So, I'm not hurting anything, I don't think. I am checking to see that I am filling in any of the gouges that I'm leaving really like that blue. If the paint isn't too heavy, the blue will stay, which makes me happy. And Floetrol is a leveling agent, so it will level everything out. That might have been a mistake. Or not. Where's my rag? Oh, I got rid of my rag. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to flatten it out a little bit. Needed two rags just in case I changed my mind. So, what else do I need in there? Not much. I kind of like the idea of putting some of that um, Anita's white metallic in there because I can. That has a paint flake on it. Come here, paint flake. could do so many things to this at this point and completely obliterate it, but I really actually like what I've got. I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I think I'm going to have a couple more. 
little areas that I add because it's fun. It's a little risky, but it's at least it's not hot out because I'm not out. <laughs> Conveniently so. I still want some dots. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but I'm really willing to try anything at this point. I think I'm going to use a shovel to operate out of. Put some white pearl in there, metallic. Don't care that there's other colors. Sometimes you just have to play. I don't know how well the blue will show up, so this is a good time to find out. just want to dot with the gold. I don't think I can get away with it. Can I get away with it? This is not coming out very quickly. It might be perfect. It's hardly coming out at all, honestly. They're both clogging up pretty quickly. Alright, that's my timer telling me that I've got two minutes. And this is me mixing up those three colors in my shovel, making some multicolored dots. That are not dotting. Must be the paint's a little heavy right there. That's still okay. <coughs> Those are huge, but that's okay, because they're kind of cool, actually. I am not sure how well... the neon purple will work, but it'll work better on some white. So thank you guys for all the contributions that have helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the wonderful comments you leave me. This will show me whether that's going to work again or not. I want some more white. I don't think I need a ton more though. I just want it to show up this time. It's a little different, but it's kind of fun. And different is good. Nobody ever said it wasn't. I think. Over here is a good idea. I want one more dot, or maybe two or three more dots. I really want to throw a chain in there and a skewer and everything else, but um, all right. So I love you guys, and I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front room for a change not dying from the heat, no bugs in my art, loving you still. Check out my playlists on my channel. There's over 1400 videos there organized by genre and by the number. And that's just fun. It's nothing serious going on here this time. Just break myself back in slowly, having some fun. Check out the Linktree links for Facebook groups, for shopping as students, or to see on totes on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors um, to see what's been edited. I like the little polls, so I think I'm going to give myself permission to put a few in there. Just a little texture, little saw blade spirals. There, I guess that's fine. 
It is what it is. It will inspire me.